Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Bilal Wajid and through this lecture series, we're going to introduce you to an amazing principle, an amazing subject called discrete mathematics. Now, the whole purpose of starting this lecture series is to introduce this subject in the simplest possible way. And so I'm going to start with the concept of quadrivium, a concept that I was introduced to by Sheikh Hamza Yusuf when I was taking his lectures on the effects of music. Then the word quadrivium has the, has the component quad, which means four. So in Western tradition, when they would study numbers, it wasn't just, they would study it in four different forms. The rawest of which was arithmetic, where they wouldn't just study numbers, but the spiritual connotation behind it. For instance, all numbers are multiples of one. Everything comes from the one. And from that point, they would study numbers in space, which is geometry. And then they would move ahead to study numbers in time, which is music. And finally, they would study numbers in both space and time, which is astronomy, hence establishing a cosmology to the quadrivium. Formally, we would start with zero. This course would start with zero. And we're going to start with zero because it has some interesting properties and qualities to it. There are six properties that I would like to start with. The first, obviously, is addition, that anything when added with zero is the number itself, hence making zero an identity element. Now, if you remove, if you deduct zero from anything, you get the number itself. So not, nothing changes. But if you multiply it with zero, then everything goes away. You just get a zero. When anything is divided by zero, you get something which is mathematicians call not a number. Others call it undefined. So the question is, what is not a number? Why is x divided by zero not a number? And we'll develop, dwell on that for a little bit. Similarly, x raised to the power zero is one. Why is anything raised to the power zero equal to one? And similarly, zero factorial is a one. Well, why is that the case? If you look at the six properties, I've put a question mark on three of them because I've realized a lot of people don't exactly know why is that the case. Is there some sense to it or is it by definition that we have to follow it? So in the very next lecture after this, we're going to dwell on this subject that why is x divided by zero not a number and what is that really? Thank you very much. I hope you have an excellent time studying this course. Bye-bye.